Okay. Download for you the best setting for Intel processor. Um, I'm here to tell you the truth of how to like fix everything. So, uh, first of all, uh, well, to get to here, uh, I'll do it first. So you got a uh, properties. Uh, so of course you have to have my, your display like this. Uh, you have to downscale, even though I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, you may have to downscale to get more FPS. That was like the smartest thing to do. So you downscale to 1070 by 720p. My bad. You downgrade the 720 by 60 AP to get the maximum frames. Uh, you put this on 60 hertz because sometimes it's like fucking not even on 60 hertz. Wow, they actually have higher hertz. Are they trolling me? The refresh rate went higher. Anyway, 60 hertz. Is it trolling me? The refresh rate went higher to 75, 75 hertz. All right, anyway, 60 hertz, right? Rotation zero. Uh, actually, main display, right? Then uh, you check out your 3D, give your performance in this. Uh, your profile should be all checked. Your video application settings, if you want to see the advanced, is disabled. Color correction disabled. Okay. Um, your video should be just should be uh should should be application settings. You can only change this up if you really want to, but this is disabled. Color correction, right? And as you do that, as you go over your, your resolution, I have two screens, so I have like two different screens, so you may have a better perspective. Uh, I'm just on two different screens. Uh, then you put uh, uh, advanced display settings, go to settings. You gotta adjust the best performance. If you want to change some things, you want to add like two of them, you could. But technically, like the best performance is how everything's gonna roll very fast. Everything's gonna be good. Uh, and that that's all you have to do. To be most of the settings are actually default. The only thing you want to change is the re resolution to a little bit lower. It didn't change the like, to performance. Um, generally, uh, it doesn't actually go higher that much FPS. But you could still run everything very fast and smoothly. Even though people be lagging the shit out of you, this will actually allow the lag to be reduced. If you're still holding lag after reducing your your resolution on your PC, uh, you can always buy a, a, a low resolution monitor. But you know what? A lot of people like 1080p. So, it's like me, I kind of like 1080p sometimes. But uh, if you want to see things closer and you want to see the video and the chat better, and can talk to people better. Lower resolution is actually good. Uh, 1080p is only for like people who can't see. I have people who want crisp graphics, crisp graphics and stuff. 720p, very good. Um, yeah, that is all. This is how you get the best FPS, the best. Optimal performance uh, on 1080p monitors. Uh, some people actually have lower lower monitors, so you wouldn't have to worry about that.
And yeah, I have two different screens, so you may get more FPS than what I'm getting. Uh, I have it fixed to 60 hertz. Uh, I don't have it higher than 60 hertz. Uh, my monitor is actually up to 360 hertz. So I don't know if I can actually adjust that. Oh, let me see something. Maybe I can adjust it to 360. Yeah, my, my monitor is actually 360 hertz. Yeah, I think it put on 75 hertz. But the pixel, yeah, it can go on 75 hertz. But 60 hertz is fine. Well, if it's a 61.4, I'll just leave it. Because apparently it didn't even show the whole screen. Weird. But anyway, it works pretty well. You know. Sure, it should work pretty well. Um, This is a 360 hour monitor. So, like, if I was on a graphics card that was like a GeForce, it should go out to 360 hertz. So... I'm not on GeForce right now, but eventually in the future, I'll go back to it. Right now, it's kind of expensive, so I'm sick with anti-HD, so. Thank you for watching my video.